Welcome to the prayer channel. Our faith has firm foundations, key principles by which we live and serve and worship God. Today we're praying through the final foundational principle in our Christian faith, which is the return of our Lord Jesus Christ and the final judgment. We're reading Matthew 24 verse 44. It reads, So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Lord, we are in awe of you today. Lord, we recognise, Lord, that you could come at any moment, Jesus. You could come at any moment. And Lord, help us to be ready today. Help us to understand that what we see around us is not it. Lord, that there is an eternity. There is a heaven. Lord, there is a hell, Lord God. There is life after we die. And Lord, you sit in heaven on the throne. Lord, help us to understand these fundamental principles, Lord, that at some point, the earth as we know it will end, Lord God. At some point, our Lord Jesus Christ will come back in personal, physical and visible return to reign in power and glory on the earth. And Lord, we need to understand this, Lord. Would this be sat in our hearts? Would this be etched in our hearts? Lord, would we not live like you're not coming back? Lord, would we not live like we've forgotten about you? Lord, would we not live like you don't matter? Lord, you matter. And today we are reminded very starkly of the fact that you matter and that you will return. You will come back and we will have to give account for our lives. Lord, it says that you will come back in final judgment of the world, Lord, and you will separate those who have accepted you, the righteous, Lord, from those who have rejected you, the wicked, Lord God, those who have chosen to rebel against you and say you don't exist and completely ignore you and choose to blaspheme your word, Lord God. Lord, these are harsh things that sound very harsh, but they are the reality of what your scripture says. Lord, you said there will be a final judgment in which the, the dead will be raised and judged according to their works. Lord, you talk of the book of life in Revelations. Lord, you talk of the end of the reign of the devil and his minions, Lord. Lord, you talk about the beast, Lord, and the false prophet, Lord. Lord, you talk about the punishment in the lake of fire. Lord, we understand that you are calling us to sober up, Lord, to be in good mind and to consider our ways, to consider the life that we live, to consider how our world is functioning and to consider that one day the way our world functions will not be as it continues to function. Lord, build our faith. Build our knowledge of you, build our understanding of you, build our revelation of you. Lord, where we sometimes may not want to engage in topics about the end or about the return of Jesus Christ or about final judgment, because it all seems too final, Lord. Help us to mature and understand that there is an end. There is an end, just as there was a the beginning, there is an end, Lord, and there's an end that will come about on this earth. But we thank you, Lord, that you say in 2 Peter 3.13 that we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens and a new earth where dwell in, wherein dwells righteousness. Lord, we long for that place. Lord, we thank you that one day we will be with you in heaven. Lord, those of us who've chosen to accept you as Lord and Saviour, those of us who've chosen to repent, those of us who've chosen to lay down our sinful nature and to turn away and to accept that we're new creations in you and to live a life, Lord, that honours and pleases you. Yes, Lord, we are not perfect. And yes, Lord, we may fall, but that doesn't separate us from you if we come with the right attitude and we repent and we come before you and we ask for forgiveness for our sins. Lord, would you forgive us our sins? Lord, would you cleanse us from all unrighteousness? Lord, would you 
help us to be in right standing with you, Lord. So when that time does come and our Lord Jesus does return in power and in glory, where everyone will see him, Lord, it won't be in secret. It will be in public. It will be broadcast. It will be noted. It will be discussed. It will be obvious, Lord. Lord, help us to be ready for that time. Lord, if we have counter thoughts to this, counter opinions, Lord, your truth always comes out, Lord God. You said the truth will always out, Lord. So help the truth to sit in our hearts about your word. Lord, help us to hold on to the truth that is your word. Lord, you said that all scripture is God breathed, all scripture is right for correction and training and for rebuking. And so, Lord, we look to your scripture. We look to your scripture for the answers and we thank you that you've outlined them so clearly. Lord, you've said that there is a second coming, the return of our soon coming King, our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus, we just ask that you would have mercy on us. As you return, would you have mercy? Would you have mercy on the nations of the earth, on the people who have turned their backs from you, who have laughed and ridiculed you? Lord, would you have mercy? Would you have mercy? Lord, we know that you're a good God, Lord, and we know that you do have mercy on whomever you will have mercy. And so we cry out for those we know, those we don't know, those who don't understand yet, those who have chosen not to understand or have turned their backs. Lord, would you help us all to come to that saving knowledge, that right standing with you, so that at the end, Lord, we will be in heaven with you, Lord God. We will be with you. Lord, not with the enemy, not with the enemy, not in his camp, not in eternal separation, not in eternal punishment, Lord, but instead we will dwell with you and we will be in peace and joy and happiness and in glory. Lord, as we pray in the next few minutes, Lord, about our own lives and having a readiness and preparedness to expect your return, Lord, would you show us how we can practically live our lives out day by day in a way that acknowledges that you're going to return that acknowledges that you are the lord of our lives you are the king of kings you're the lord of lords and you are above everything everything thank you lord as we pray in jesus name amen